It's grind time in the CIAA Southern Division, and I'm back in Brave Boy Gym in Charlotte, North Carolina for one of my favorite HBCU rivalries. Johnston C. Smith hosting Livingstone College going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the 704. Hashtag that for me, game day family, because when these two schools go at it, it's always rowdy, rowdy, bowdy, bowdy. JCSU guard and leading scorer in the CIAA, Robert Davis, set this one out with a hand injury. But you know that meant the reigning CIAA player of the week, Roanoke, Virginia's own Pusha C. Christian Kirchman would have to take the reins, and that's just what he did. He played all 40 minutes in the game. Here he comes off the curl and knocks down a big three. Bang. Next, he hits Navarre Elmore with the fillet of the night with this behind the back Hezzy. Then he drives to the rack and attempts to sick up and under on the other Elmore twin, Liddell. He misses, but Arthur Bennett doing what big men do best. He's there for the putback. Bennett not done looking out for his boy Kirchman. He makes the beautiful outlet pass. Christian catches it in stride, takes it to the hoop, gets fouled, and one. Bray boy Jim goes wild. You see his classmates out there showing Kirchman much love on that sick handle. This was all a part of a 15-4 Golden Bull run that opened up the first half lead to 34-23. Blue Bears looking to get the deficit back in the single digits before the half. Liddell Elmore gets the big block. Ramel Belfield finds Roger Ray on the break for the easy lay. But Johnson C. Smith feeling the heat towards the end of the half. They get a three-pointer at the buzzer by Winston-Salem's own Casey Miner. JCSU goes up 43-29 at the break. Now in the second half, Livingstone's Roger Ray was about that action. He drops 20 of his 29 after the break. He goes three for four from beyond the arc in the second stanza, including this nice step back for three. The Blue Bears were able to cut the JCSU lead to six, but Smith got buckets from all over the place. Roderick Ross filling in for Robert Davis gives us 18 points, and here he catches a sick oop from Casey Miner who also gave us 17 of them things, including being four for seven from three-point land himself. Johnson C. Smith controls the second half and the game, beating Livingstone 89-75. Stay tuned for round two, when the Golden Bulls head north on 85 to face Livingstone and the Bears then on February 17th. For HBCU Game Day, it's your boy, Wally Pitt.